A recent opinion piece says the surge at the U.S. border is tied into the Democrats' push for election reform. Writing in Real Clear Politics earlier this month, former Virginia Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli says in part, quote, when one looks at what this administration is doing to open the door to illegal immigration, to grant amnesty to millions of illegal aliens, and to sweep millions of illegal aliens onto our voter rolls, it is impossible to conclude that this is all just a coincidence. And joining us now is Ken Cuccinelli, National Chairman of the Election Transparency Initiative and former Attorney General of Virginia. Ken, welcome back. Great to have you on again. Uh, a lot of people are calling the situation at the southern border a crisis for a number of reasons, but you also say that this is tied into the H.R. 1 and S. 1 voting bills being pushed by Democrats. Uh, why do you say that? So the, it is a crisis at the border, and um, but if you look at the other things going on at the same time, you can start to connect some dots. The House of Representatives didn't pass just one. They passed two amnesty bills out um, in the last two months. They've also pushed out their election bill, H.R. 1, which would require all states to automatically put individuals, is the word the bill uses, not citizens, that's very intentional, individuals in all of their state databases, whether it's their DMV, their schools, their public health from vaccinations and so forth, onto the voter rolls, that is to register them to vote. At the same time, they remove the penalties for people so registered who are illegal aliens from being penalized for voting. So. On the left, they would say, well, we didn't make it legal for non-citizens to vote, which is technically true, but what they did do is they removed the penalties when it happens, and they made it automatic uh, on the part of the state. So you'll literally, in a matter of a year or two, have millions of non-citizens, including illegal aliens, swept onto the voter rolls in all 50 states. And this is so blatant, it is so obvious, um, it can't be an accident. It can't be coincidental. They had the chance to fix this and chose not to do it. And by the way, I would also point out that they've also put an intimidation factor into the bill. They have created a new federal criminal felony for state and local officials who might impede anyone's getting on the voter rolls or then voting, which sounds by itself reasonable if you think of impeding citizens who belong on the voter rolls from getting there. But if you work as a state agency and uh, somebody comes to you not in your database, you've never encountered them before, and they don't speak English, that would be a, a, a sign that they might not be a citizen, right? But if you question them on that, you fall into the category of targeted individuals under that federal criminal penalty that they just made up and add to this bill. All of these pieces together lead to the inevitable conclusion that they're using the rush at the border to expand voter rolls in the expectation that those folks will vote for the candidates favored by the radical left in this country. Well, Ken, as you know, uh, Georgia recently passed a new voting law that they say will strengthen confidence in elections. However, it did receive a lot of backlash. That said, Georgia isn't the only state that's revamping their voting laws. Uh, what more can you tell us about that? Well, first, let's take a quick look at history. Everybody old enough remembers Bush v. Gore in 2000 when Florida was just embarrassed with how badly its election system ran in front of the whole country. What did they do? They set about taking the steps necessary to fix it. And now they have one of the best, most smooth running elections systems in the whole country, even being the third largest state. And uh, so we can fix these problems. Georgia took some important steps toward doing that. Iowa has done that. Arizona has done that. A number of states have recognized that they have problems. And the counterattack against all of these efforts is not to engage on the substance of each piece of legislation. It is simply to libelously smear people as trying to suppress votes or being racist. Pick your, pick your epithet, and that's it. We all know from those high school logic classes that when someone starts in on the ad hominem attack, it means they don't have a good substantive position. And that's what we're facing here. When you look at what Americans believe 
are the good pieces of a good running election system, Americans widely agree, widely agree. The only folks who really are stepping in loudly to oppose these cleanup efforts are those who also support H.R. 1, who want to override them because the federal bill overrides all the state laws, and to trample them so that cheating is actually easy. And that's not something we should shoot for. We'll lose the confidence of the American people in this most foundational act of our constitutional republic, and that's voting. Well, Ken, unfortunately, we have to leave it right there. Thank you so much for your time today. Ken Cuccinelli, former right, Attorney General of Virginia and National Chairman of the Election Transparency Initiative. Thank you again. Thank you.